Republicans have set their opening presidential debate to take place this August in Milwaukee. That date will coincide with their RNC summer meeting. Milwaukee will also host the upcoming Republican National Convention in 2024. We are still a year away from the Iowa Republican caucus, but presidential candidates are already scrambling for support. Indeed they are. Madison Scarpina has more on this from Des Moines. And Madison, what is the latest on the ground there? Hey there, Anthony and Tia. This place is a political hotspot. Iowa is key for candidates or potential candidates to really make an impression before the 2024 election. And for Republicans, Iowa is first in the nation for presidential nominating, a tradition people here take a lot of pride in. Hello. I think it's fair to say that a lot of people accidentally fly over Iowa, but very few people unintentionally fly to Iowa. Uh, these candidates are coming because in one year, Iowa will kick off the Republican nomination for President of the United States. Since the 70s, Republicans in Iowa have kicked off the process of choosing presidential candidates. Here in Iowa, pretty much every year is a campaign year. We have kind of have a tradition now where candidates come early and often, get to know the Former ambassador to the U.N. under President Trump, Nikki Haley, recently announced her candidacy. Haley made multiple stops in Iowa and even took a jab at her former boss, who is also running for president in 2024. Because I don't think you have to be 80 years old to be in D.C. I really don't. Entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy is also entering the 2024 race and spent a day meeting Iowa voters. And as somebody who has run enterprises before, I will run the federal government the way it needs to be run. Other unofficial candidates like former VP Mike Pence and Senator Tim Scott have been courting voters there as well. Hello, Iowa! According to a recent Quinnipiac poll, Republican voters favor Donald Trump the most, followed by Ron DeSantis and then Nikki Haley. But for now, Iowans are keeping their options open. A lot of people aren't in yet that might be in that might sway my opinion one way or another. Earlier this month, the Democratic National Committee officially voted to boot Iowa from the primary calendar altogether. Political experts say that this may cause some Democrats to actually switch parties, so their voices are still heard here. In Des Moines, Iowa, Madison Scarpino, Fox 32 Chicago.